The collapse of a condo building in Florida is shining a spotlight on high-rise building safety. The building in Florida was due for a recertification, which is a process Honolulu's buildings do not face. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and has details. After a deadly building component failure here in the island several years ago, there was an attempt to better regulate large structures in Honolulu. Some say it's past time to revive it. Honolulu shares more than sun, sea, and sand with Miami. Our coastal high rises are also inundated with the same stresses that may have undermined the collapsed structure. We have the ocean, the ocean's close by, there's sea level rise, the water's uh, rising, touching the foundation and causing havoc. When you have both the concrete deteriorating because of the salt and the rebar, now you have a major situation. It's almost catastrophic if it affects the foundation. It's a problem many Hawaii condo residents and association boards know all too well. That's how I found out we were, uh, we were affected by spalling. I came home one day and there's yellow tape in front of the building. I said, what happened? And they said concrete just fell off the building. In 2016, one man was killed and another man severely injured when they fell as a rusted railing toppled at Ala Moana Center. And the city found more rust and concrete spalling elsewhere. Within months, the Honolulu City Council was advancing a measure to mandate inspections of all buildings over three stories every five years. If you're going to be doing uh, that type of uh, inspection or, you know, that type of uh, review, it's going to be very expensive for the, for the uh, association. After passing second reading, the Honolulu inspection bill stalled in committee after the Marco Polo blaze in summer 2017 turned all eyes toward fire sprinkler and life safety legislation. Something like this could happen in Hawaii and, and soon. We don't know. I mean, there's already buildings that have uh, major spawning repairs and they're fixing it, but some buildings aren't fixing it and they're out there and someone and you could have another railing accident or whole balcony could collapse. I asked the county building department whether regulations need to be put in place to standardize building recertifications on a regular timeline and the director responded in light of what has happened in Florida they might instead launch an education and awareness effort for building owners to address deficiencies. Such maintenance is the owner or manager's responsibility, but the city can send inspectors to look into unsafe buildings. That's not nearly enough because, Gina, the fact of the matter is that the building inspectors do not go to a building that's already constructed unless there's a complaint. A budget and reserves law dating back to the 1990s requires condos to track and set aside money to keep up with critical component repair and replacement. You're going to get, you know, uh, a few road buildings out there where you have people saying, oh, don't raise my maintenance fees. I mean, and that's the scary thing. Fees are likely to go sky high because of Miami anyway, regardless of whether more inspections or repairs become requirements. The associations in Hawaii use the same reinsurance as the carriers that are going to have to insure the uh, Miami uh, condominium uh, tra you know, disaster. And so all our rates are going to go up. Even if legislation for mandatory inspection cycles is not renewed, building experts say do it anyway. Please check your building. Have somebody check it if you can't do it on your own. When you get the results, act on it and, and fix your building. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating. We have a follow-up to last night's always investigating report. The city council is taking possible changes to a fire safety law under advisement. Today, council members heard from condo owners about the costly impacts of the law passed after the Marco Polo fire. It requires older buildings to either put in sprinklers or make upgrades to pass a life safety evaluation instead. Some building associations have opted to move ahead with sprinklers, even as the council considers changes to the rules.